Siamo in un posto meraviglioso a Capo Sunion vicino We are in a wonderful place, Cape Sunion, near Athens. There is a lot of sailing history here. We are on the OT60, which is a great novelty for the 2023-2024 season. Developed by Omicron Yacht, a shipyard based in Lavrio, a few kilometers from Athens. The concept of the boat uh, starts uh, from efficiency. We wanted to create a platform in which you can cruise uh, long distances or short passages uh, with the minimum possible uh, consumption. Uh, we wanted to provide a lot of space for the size of the boat and uh, we wanted the boat to be very comfortable both in navigation but also uh, for uh, staying at night and uh, spending a lot of time uh, on board. Uh, the hull design has been done by um, Juan Kujumzian, while the exterior design uh, is the concept of um, Lorenzo Argento. 1K has a wealth of experience when it comes to sailing boats. This contamination serves to make this vessel very smooth and therefore consume very little. It is a boat with great ambitions that was approved in Class A for 14 people. This declares its marine skills. After all, the initial idea was to sail in the Aegean with any sea condition, any weather, among the large islands and the great spectacle of this sea. The external area is obviously the most lived-in area of the boat, with two tables that can descend to create a large sunbathing area. At the stern, the gangway also becomes a davit for lifting the tender or toys. The side decks are very comfortable, and you don't even have to hold on to the deck house too much to get to the bow. Here, between 12 and 14 people are able to dine just by adding a few seats. And then we have these large windows that open completely, so you're able to chat with whoever is in the internal living area. When everything is closed, you can use the air conditioning. Inside is a large convertible sofa, an area that I sense will be used a lot, especially when navigating. There is a retractable television there. Here is the pilot seat. Simple, but there is everything you need. Visibility is incredible. The view is 360 degrees, but there is a flap with controls for when you moor. The living area is structured a bit like a loft. A few steps from the pilot seat, you go down to the kitchen, which is equipped with everything you need. In front of the kitchen, there's a table where you can work, which nowadays is not uncommon for those who are used to long holidays, or you can have lunch. There are two basic layouts offered as regards the interiors, three or four cabins. In this case, we are in the owner's version, with a large master cabin in the bow. In the case of the four cabins, here behind me there are two double rooms. The two aft cabins are identical in the two versions, which can be obtained either with separate beds or with a large double bed. We are finally navigating with the OT60. We're at 2000 RPM, the engines are coupled, the GPS speed is 8.6 knots. The people involved with this project, uh, we are all coming from a sailing background, we are all passionate sailors. And uh, we wanted to recreate the feeling and the freedom of sailing uh, in a motorboat concept. Uh, in that sense, you can see now we are traveling at 9 knots, but we could go up to uh, 14 uh, in um, a very quiet, calm and comfortable uh, environment. We really believe in this concept and we think that it will be even more uh, successful in a bigger size. So we are uh, in the process of uh, designing a bigger boat around the 80-foot mark, I would say.
Now let's increase the throttle a little and go to 2,500 RPM. Here we are at 2,500 RPM, waiting for the speed to stabilize. Consumption increases, speed increases. We're at 10.3 knots. Let's increase the speed again. And here we are at 3,000 RPM. The speed increases up to 11.8 knots. These are the characteristics of this hull. We are in a particularly comfortable situation. Silence on board. More full throttle. Let's take a look at the maximum speed. We're at just over 3,600 RPM. This is a slightly heavy boat. The owner wanted a lot of stuff inside, and we're approaching 14 knots. The shipyard suggests navigating between 10 and 12 knots to have maximum autonomy and comfort on board. We're navigating at 11 and a half knots. Now let's try a veer. The one we can do is a bit tight. There are no changes in trim. The boat remains really flat. A bit of following sea. Let's get back on our route. The movement of this hull is very interesting. This hull is loaded with options. The owner wanted everything that could fit, and this worsened the hull's performance a little. It's very sensitive to weight. The first boat launched was a little lighter. In fact, it exceeded 16 knots. The boat had to be very light in order to require very little power for uh, propulsion. Uh, this hull has been designed for an optimum speed of between 8 up to 14 knots, but uh, we consider that the sweet spot is between 10 and 12 knots, where the hull is very efficient. And uh, for this kind of speeds, we require two engines of uh, 250 horsepower. This particular boat has two Yanmar, uh, four-cylinder engines, uh, is uh, with a conventional shaft drive, but uh, we are using a thrust bearing in between the engine and the uh, propeller in order to uh, reduce uh, the vibration. From hull number three onwards, the boats are uh, around two and a half tons lighter than this one. The construction method of this boat is similar to a performance sailing boat. Uh, the hull is uh, infused cord, a sandwich panel uh, with vinyl ester resin, while the superstructure is a cord sandwich with a carbon construction. And uh, th this is done to create a very uh, light platform. Omicron Yachts is the new building shipyard of uh, Olympic Marine. Uh, it was uh, established as Olympic Yachts in the 70s and um, in 2018 uh, we renovated completely the shipyard in order to produce the OT60 and other projects. Omicron is a shipyard that builds boats from scratch. This is an important factor to remember. Here we are inside hull number three with our four cabin layout. It's nice to see the boats grow. It's nice to see them as they are being built. Many owners like to come and visit their object of desire as it grows. In Omicron Yachts, we have a design and engineering department. We have a composite shop. We have a carpentry as well as the assembly building. And in that sense, we can design, develop and produce uh, the complete boat. We have the facilities for launching and testing also through our sister company Olympic Marine. <laughs>